we're going to read a story today called Families Work. And it goes right along with our essential question, which is what happens when families work together? So also this story merges and blends in some of our vocabulary words. So we're able to remember them and see them in wonderful examples in these sentences in the story. This text is a little bit different. It's called an expository. Um, is it an expository genre? And that just means that it has facts mixed in. So it's a story, but it has facts mixed in. And usually it'll have some sort of like a chart inserted in or some sort of fact, like a table of information for you to use and to look at too. So it's kind of like a, a nonfiction in a sense. Alrighty, so I'm going to read this to you and it's called Families Work. All right, and remember as we read through, think of our essential question as it goes. Uh, you'll be writing about it afterwards, okay? So it says, Ellen Young had a busy day at work. She put on a cap, she put a cast on a broken arm. What do you think her job is? Just by hearing that, she put a cast on a broken arm. She used a bandage to cover a deep cut and she helped 20 patients. Ellen is a doctor for children. Customers can get sick at any time, so pediatricians work long hours. They have hard jobs. Ellen's husband works long hours, too. Steve is a firefighter. At the firehouse, he makes sure the tools work properly. He checks the hoses and the fire trucks. At the fire, Steve rescues people from hot flames and smoke. The firefighters all work together to put out the fire. There's a picture of Ellen. Steve. There's Ellen. And there's a little picture of Steve. At home, the young family works together too. Hannah sets the table for dinner. She also helps wash the dishes. Everyone has weekly chores. Mom and Hannah do the dusting and the mopping. Dad and her brother, Zach, do the laundry. They all work together, don't they? Have their own jobs and chores each week. They wash, so Zach and Dad, they wash, dry, and fold the clothes. Mom makes a shopping list each week. She lists the items that they need and the things that they want. A short time ago, Zach wanted a new laptop. The family needed a new washing machine. They could only spend money on one of those items. Both cost about the same. Uh, both cost about the same and they had to choose which one, the laptop that they wanted or the washing machine that they needed. Uh, but both cost the same. So clean clothes are needed for school and work. A new laptop is nice, but did Zach need it? Ellen and Steve thought about their family's needs and they decided to buy the washing machine. They needed that, you need clean clothes to be able to wear each day. Zach knows that his parents have busy jobs. They bring home money to pay for their needs and for their wants. They needed the washing machine. Zach still wants a laptop. The family has decided to save money each week so that they could buy that in the future. Okay, so what are some needs and what are some wants? I want you to think about what you need each day that you can't go without, something that you absolutely have to have to stay happy and healthy. Um, and then I want you to think of things that you want, things that don't keep you alive, things that you really wish you had, but you could survive without them. I'd like you to make a list today of needs and wants, okay? And then next, I'd like you to tell me how this family that we read about, the mom, the dad, the daughter, and the son, how they worked together in this story. So what did they do? What were their jobs? How did they support and help each other, okay? And then I want you to kind of think back to your family. Our families might look different than this family. So what do we do in our families at home? How do we help out one another? I'll write these prompts for you so that you can answer them in your journal for me. And then will you send me a picture in Dojo, please, so I can read them. I look forward to learning more about your families. Have a great day. Bye.